Hey guys, Thunderset here, bringing you another new archetype from this latest box. This one is called Necros, but it's spelled a K and a Z. So, the highest rarity card we got is Necros Kaleidoscope. It's a ritual card, so it's a ritual type deck. This card can be used to ritual summon any number of Necros ritual monsters. So, take that in. It can be you just summon any number of monsters, so you're summoning multiple monsters with this one thing. Tribute one monster from your hand, field, or send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Also after that, Rich will summon any number of necro monsters whose total levels exactly equal the level of that monster that you threw from the extra deck. You can only use the effect of necro's classical once per turn. If you have no monsters, banish this card from your graveyard. Add one Necros from your graveyard, um, or sorry, add one spell card from your deck. You gotta banish this and a monster card from your graveyard. So, it sounds amazing, right? You get rid of an extra deck monster whose level is really high, and then you can summon multiple ritual monsters with one card. In theory, this card sounds great, but then we look at the ritual monsters, and they have such strict restrictions. We're never going to be able to summon him, so let's get into this guy. He's a level 10. You can ritual summon this card with any Necros ritual spell card. Must be ritual summon without using a level 10. So you wouldn't be able to use a level 10 extra deck. None of that kind of stuff. Um, you can only use one effect. We're pretty much using him as a hand trap. That's why there's only one copy and he's searchable in the deck. We'll get into how later. During either player's turn, you can discard this card. Target one Necros monster you control. Gains a thousand attack, so that's pretty much what he is. He's pretty much a hand trap, just running one. The deck revolves around these two. Now these two we can actually summon. He's a level 7, it says you can't use a level 7. He's a level 5, you can use a level 5 for him. So 5 plus 7 equals 12, guys. You use Necro Kaleidoscope, throw away a level 12, now you can summon two monsters with one ritual spell. What do these monsters do? Are they even worth it? You betcha. During either player's turn, you can discard this card, then target one Necros monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. Very strong, but we're usually not going to use that. Usually, it's going to be on the field, and we're going to be using during either player's turn. You can discard one Necros card, then target one card on the field, destroy it. So Necros of Ganyr is very, very strong. But we also have Necros of Casador or Cata Catatastor. I have no idea how to say that word. You can ritual summon this card with any Necros, blah blah blah. Um, without using Necros of Castor. Cannot be special summoned. Uh, so you can't use this own card to special summon it. You can discard this card, target one Necros monster in your graveyard, special summon it. That's pretty good as a hand trap. It's not really a trap, but as a hand effect. You can only use the effect once per turn. At the start of the damage step, if this if a mon if a Necros monster you control battles an opponent's face up monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, destroy that monster. Very, very strong effect. That's what makes him go through. This is also a very strong effect. In theory, these are really strong effects. It's just hard to get them both out. That's why we're running three Sonic Birds. We're using Master of Rights, but you're usually using it to get both of these boys out so you can throw away from the extra deck. You don't have to use your Exa Enforcer of the Necros, who's actually pretty good himself. This card is tribute for a card effect. You can add one Dragon. So if you use him just to summon one of these, you can search your level 7 or search your 10 as a hand trap. He works out pretty well. It's also a 2k beater. You can special summon out of the graveyard with this boy. And then, if this card is banished, you can target one of your banished Necro monsters. Except this card, special summon it. You don't really use that one too, too much. But, uh, so yeah, and then we have three Cosmic Cyclone for a Master of Rights and a Treacherous Chapel. But like I said, the basic combo is a three card combo. You have the level 7, the level 5, and your Kaleidoscope in hand. That way, you can throw away a level 12 from your extra deck, special summon both of them, and hopefully have some resources in your hand to still use your Ganeer's effect. Very strong that way, just not really consistent. Three card combos are really hard to get consistent, guys. So uh, beyond the 12, you can also use a 10 with just two of these boys. Not as good, obviously, but still gets the job done. 
Um, it's just a weird archetype we can't really use to its full power. We're obviously going to need like more ritual cards or something like that. Something, something. Uh, but it's pretty interesting how it works right now. So I hope you guys enjoy the replays. It's a pretty cool deck. And thanks for watching. Okay, here we are fighting a Yami Yugi. Going first. No, he's trying to rank up. We'll see how that goes for him. He's using balance. We have our level 7. We just need our spell card and to not get OTK'd. Our opponent sets one and a back row. We cause an Cyclone in. It was a Jar of Greed. Now we get our Kaleidoscope. We didn't even need to use our skill. We throw away the Neos Blue Eyes. Summon a 7 and a 5. And we get to keep a 7 to fuel our Gungnir's effect to destroy one card. Or use as a hand trap to protect from destruction. I'm pretty sure we use it to destroy a card. Yep, activate it immediately. Destroy the face down fusion card. He's completely vulnerable. Nice and quick OTK, guys. Great, great stuff. Okay, here we are facing a Blair. Going second. No skins or sleeves for her. Must have just unlocked Blair. So we need to take some damage. We're gonna normal summon the Sonic Bird. Search another Kaleidoscope. Swing into this level 2 tuner. He happens to be fire. Then he normal summons his Alistair, gets his invocation going. Uses said invocation, brings out a Purgatrio, but he uses an Alistair from his hand so the Alistair is not banished. Hits me for an extra thousand with that normal Alistair. Now we're gonna normal summon our Sonic Bird, search a third Kaleidoscope, guys. But we took a thousand damage, all we need is our level set or five. And we get him. That's the combo. And we have plenty of resources to start destroying stuff, guys. This is how quick and smooth it's going to go. We just send the Neos Blue Eyes from our hand. Or sorry, from the extra deck. He's a level 12. Now level 7 from our hand. And the level 5. And the level 7's effect, you get to discard one card and destroy it. You can use it in the battle phase. We destroy the Purgatrio. Hit him for lethal. Nice and quick, guys. Absolutely crazy stuff. Okay, here we are facing the Shizu. Going second. This deck likes going second. Your first turn plays aren't bad though. Okay, that's the three card combo, guys. That's all we need. Our level seven, our level five, and a kaleidoscope. We are fighting a dark magician. I believe he bricks with his dark magical circle and doesn't really put up any better field. Searches a dark magical attack. Actually, he does put up a field. Seals our tombs. We're gonna banish his dark magical circle though, so now what are you gonna do? We Kaleidoscope, we throw away a Quintet, that equals 5 plus 7, so there's the Gunnir, and our Cat Aster, Cat Aster, I have no idea, Cataster, Cataster, here we swing into the boy, he uses a World Legacy Clash on our Gunnir, but we're still able to hit him with this 2200. We still get to use Gunnir's effect to throw away our exploit to destroy his new face down. And then he scoops, guys. Great stuff on Dark Magician. Okay, here's a Merrick. Let's see what he's got first. We're going second, and we're going for a rank up. This deck had a nice little win streak, but I have to admit it was pretty lucky. So we're almost to the combo here. We just need our opponent to set some back row. Dark Magical Circle. I think this is the one where he bricks. Illusion Magic. Doesn't even set the Illusion Magic. That's how ball deep this guy is. So we're going to Cosmic Cyclone, that Dark Magical Circle. Return a monster, but we get the same monster. So we're going to have to settle for two Catasters, which is still a play. You throw away a level 10 Fusion card, which is Naturia Gaius Trio. And boom, we have two of them, 2200. He could kill any extra deck monster. Works out great. We kept our 1400 boy. That should be lethal. Yep, lethal, no problem. Great, great stuff, guys. That quick. Can't set a weak field versus this deck. Okay, here's Mokuba. New, classy Mokuba. We're going second. It's got some world qualifiers, Matt. We are kind of close to the combo. We just need our level 5 boy. We're fighting a Gladiators. We're going to Cosmic Cyclone that back row. It was Chariot. We're gonna search the Sonic Bird. Now we're gonna use Master of Rights. We're gonna go for a monster, try to get our level 5. We totally get it. Now our Kaleidoscope is beasting. We throw away a level 12 Neos Ultimate Blue Eyes. That's our Cataster. 
and our Ganeer. Ganeer's effect destroys that back row. It was a gladiator's rejection. So I probably could have uh, done much better because you can use Ganeer in the battle phase. So in the battle phase, I wouldn't have had to worry about rejection protecting that glad beast and I could have just destroyed the glad beast and swung for lethal. He has fear Kree will obviously, but uh, we would have not died to that glad beast. So we uh, Cosmic Cyclone another mirror wall, destroy the monster, hit him for 1400. He's in top deck mode. Unexpected die though, prolongs him another turn. We're pretty low on life points too, honestly. We banish that caster from our hand. Catister. And that special summons this dude, our enforcer. Another 2,000 beater. Great, great stuff, guys. Nice and smooth. So overall, that's how this deck goes, though. You wait for your 3-card combo or you're waiting on your level 5, 2200. Because this effect is strong. You can just beat up on special summon extra deck monsters, which are getting more and more popular. It's pretty much just... Dark Magician who's consistently putting up normal monsters that's hard to get around really. But uh, this deck has a long way to go. We're really not utilizing its full power whatsoever at this point. So I'm pretty sure way way more support is coming for this archetype we just gotta hold tight. Hope you guys enjoyed this replay. Till then, thanks for watching.